Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home Brew. My stout has stuck fermenting. I went to bottle it last week. The measurement is really high, so I need to rehydrate some yeast. So I start by boiling some water. That hang on a second. That's soup. Damn it. All right, try again. Start by boiling some water. And yep, water. So I'm going to rehydrate some yeast. So I need some nice, good water to work with. So we'll get that going. Okay, so here we are up at the fridge, and this is my. Uh, that's my Munich Smash, so I've got to oh, switch the thingy off, got to get him out of the way. I'm going to raise the temperature of the stout as well, so Munich Smash comes out, stout goes up to the top shelf, and oh, what I'll do is, uh, it's sitting at about 19 degrees, it has been, so I'm going to raise the temperature with the heat belt, and I've got a sample there just to check and see how it's going. So, this is a sample I took last week, and that's actually started falling. Uh, it was 1.022, and it's down to 1.019 now. And this is my current sample. And this one, hmm, this one's still at 1.022. So that's kind of a good thing. It means that the one from last week kind of got warmed up a bit and agitated, and it started to ferment again. So the hope remains. So I am just, um, oh, I'm checking the soup, actually. I'm actually just sanitizing some stuff. Yeah. I guess if you're going to accidentally put soup in your pot, you may as well have soup for lunch. Anyway, checking the stuff, and I've got the water water done now, so uh, I'm going to put that into my little container here. I need 110 mils, roughly, for the yeast. This is some yeast nutrient. I haven't used yeast nutrient before, but um, I guess since I'm trying to resurrect something, like I'm trying to save something, I may as well do everything right. right? So it needs half a teaspoon for 23 litres, so I've got a bit more because mine's a bit more than that so anyway this is way too hot so it needs to come down so put some glad wrap over it and we'll stick that in the freezer because temperature needs to be uh much much lower or else the yeast will die i used nottingham yeast which is apparently quite oh here we go it's telling me between 30 and 35 32.5 spot on so yeah apparently nottingham yeast is particularly vulnerable to thermal shock so you have to follow the instructions and the instructions say do not stir when you tip the yeast in so I'm not sure if me poking around here I looked at the proper instructions afterwards uh, yeah I don't know if me poking around is doing the wrong thing there but anyway they also say don't bring the temperature down straight away and I'm gonna put it in the sink so maybe I shouldn't have done that either but anyway in 15 minutes that gets a bit of a stir. So 15 minutes later, temperatures come down a little bit. I'm going to stir it up. Stir, 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 stir. Good. Yep. Good stirring. All right. What's next? Okay. Oh, we're all we're just about ready to throw it back in. So um, yeah, I've rehydrated the yeast. I'm gently stirring the stout sort of wake them up and here comes the new yeast they go in one two three splat in they go smells like yeast and now i'm gonna switch the temperature jigger back on and it's been i've had it set to sort of 19 i'm gonna take it up so it's it's hanging around 22 so uh it's at 21 now so i guess that's all right but uh fingers crossed everything works out and it comes back to life and we're all done so yeah Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully that works. I've got even more yeast in case it doesn't. Watch out for thermal shock with Nottingham yeast. Have a good day. Drink some beer. Make it out. Everybody's happy. Bye.